<laughs> can my can my teammates help out a brother? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, running behind him when I'm dying. <laughs> I'm using a burst weapon and I had to pull the oh trigger four times, put twelve bullets in somebody, and he still had a nut hair of health left. Fellas, welcome back. This is a different style like hybrid video where I do live commentary in the moment with my buddies and then we do some post commentary at the end or my first impressions of the game. And I've got some thoughts about the game. Real quick, something I don't talk about in the post commentary, I don't mind as skill based matchmaking. I thought that might come up because that's kind of like the hot button topic with Call of Duty nowadays. I hate skill based matchmaking. I don't. I don't mind that I don't go, I don't go 25 and 0 every single game. Sue me. Just want to say before the video, leave a like, really appreciate it. Helps me gauge whether or not you guys enjoy this type of content. Uh, let me know what you think about Cold War because I know this is a really weird Call of Duty because the development time was poor and there's a lot of weird stuff with COVID right now and the game is not being received well, but some people love it. And of course, subscribe if you're new and uh, tell your friends about the channel. Appreciate it. All right, let's just go ahead and get into the gameplay. Appreciate you guys sticking around. Look at all those carbon copy action figures jumping out of the helicopter. <laughs> it's all the same guy. It was all the same man. I guess it's the. I guess it's what happens day one. Getting the hell out of there. Oh! I enjoy listening to Brandon fear for his life. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, ah! that was a <laughs> What do you mean? What do you mean, Brandon? That was Elmo. Elite gameplay you just witnessed. Losing alpha. Losing alpha. I whiffed so hard and I I mm. yeah, there's a guy on A. Yo, I just shot you. at you because I freaked out. You uh, you have killed me so many times in so many Call of Duties. <laughs> if it was Tarkov, can you imagine? Well then it would be Graham shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> We got a spy plane, boys. Everybody's got ghost. Get B, get B, get B, get B, get B. I'm running. <laughs> I'm out of there. I almost saved your life. I'm really sorry. Right Oof. Enemy care package above. I think he was online. I'm gonna add him in just a second. I just stole that from somebody. That guy blended in. That guy blended in. I couldn't see that guy at all. What is that? Why is the sensitivity on this so high? Holy shit. I got one. I got two. I got three. Grenade spam. Grenade spam. Hey. I destroyed an RCXD somehow. There was a landmine in that room for no reason. I don't like the scope that's on this M16. Oh, they're on B. Fuck them. Schwack them. Schwack them. There's our good friend, I'll say. I ran out of ammo. His name is Kirikov. Oh, half time. Haha, <laughs> 69. <laughs> I don't like this half time thing, dude. Yeah, I don't like halftime either. That wasn't me in the kill cam that didn't actually get the best play. What's the point in halftime? Like, I know it switches sides, but like, you, you do that during the game anyways, so... I don't know. Also, 
the point. Alright fellas, editing right here. We're back to post-commentary. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the game so far after playing it for, uh, I want to say probably about four hours. I, I don't level up very quickly, if you can't tell. <laughs> this is one of my for earliest games. I didn't use my first games uh, just because I played so poorly. And the first guns they give you in the non-creative class loadouts are really bad. Uh, they are quite bad. And that's one thing I want to discuss right off the bat. The weapon balance in this game, if you've played it, you know this, is extremely poor like it's some of the worst i've seen in call of duty in a long time and that's that's saying a lot considering modern warfare which i played quite a lot had the uh, double barrel fiasco the 725 problem at the at launch and for most of its uh most of its life cycle until they started adding in new guns and then of course with every subsequent patch they'd have a uh, horribly uh balanced weaponry that was added in you know the yada yada yada. This game, its immediate problem is the MP5 is way too good, and I think that's, you're gonna find that if you look up anything about this game, you're gonna see that the MP5 is broken. I'm even using it in this gameplay. And this is before, uh, I even truly realized it. This thing is crazy good, if you're in a game with good connection, which I'll talk about later. It just, it, it, right off the bat, this game needs, needs to be worked, reworked, weapon-wise. It, it, the MP5 needs to be toned down. I think a lot of other guns, such as snipers, which seem woefully inconsistent, they need to be retuned. I don't think they need to be as good as they were in the beta, but I, I you gotta figure out something. Right now, they seem useless. The, it's a, they're hit marker machines, essentially. You don't get any, any sort of, you don't get any consistency out of those guns whatsoever. Other than the SMGs, like the MP5, uh, most other guns seem okay. Shotguns, honestly, seem, I know a lot of people kind of complain about them, but I think if they made them any worse, they'd be useless. So I'd rather than be useful and ARs overall seem pretty balanced. Uh, AK is one of my favorite guns. The M4 seems usable. Overall, just they need to rework most of the balance in the game so far. The MP5 is just way too good. I don't think I need to say any more than that. All right, let's talk about maps now because that's one of my, my always recently in recent Call of Duty's past few years, I have hated the maps in Call of Duty. I've thought they've all been bad. I don't understand. I don't remember any of their names. I'm bad with the names, period. But my, one of my main detractions from every Call of Duty every year is how bad the maps are. This year, I'm pleasantly surprised. And I know the big complaint this time is that Cold War doesn't have very many, so there's not much to choose from. There's not much variety. But in my mind, I'd rather it be quality over quantity at this point, just because of how bad some of the maps were, especially Modern Warfare, like Ramaza, Piccadilly. Those maps are so bad. And this game doesn't have, it's, they're not all hits, but this one, Cartel, I quite like. I know a lot of people don't like the bushes. I like it a lot. I like Miami a lot, despite what people say. And Moscow is my current favorite. Those are kind of, those were from the beta, and I had the most playtime on them. I like them quite a lot. My main issue with them is visibility, and this is a problem that I think has gotten sometimes worse than what was in Modern Warfare, which is insane! Because Modern Warfare has some some of the worst character visibility in any game I've ever played, and sometimes it's worse than this. The colors seem to blend together with character models, which has really fr frustrated me. There are many times where I walk into a room or I'm out in the open, I think it happened earlier in this gameplay, and I go, I couldn't see that guy at all. This I've color corrected a bit, so the image is not standard because I want it to be brighter and more colorful for the video. I really hope they fix that. Just I felt like it's it, it's changed from the beta. The beta had great visibility. I didn't have any problems, and I just I, I want them to go back. I want them to go back to whatever the whatever it was. Uh, okay, finally, this is this is my biggest problem so far, and it's truly it's it's so bad. And I don't know if it's like this on console. I'm playing on PC, but the hit detection. And it feels like the netcode, the hit detection and netcode seem to be trash, like some of the worst I've ever played. And I'm coming from fighting games where netcode is notoriously awful. I just don't get it. I shoot at people first. I'm dead on them the whole time and they turn on me and kill me in an instant. Then I watch the kill cam and I see that they shot me first on their end. And I, I, I'm, I'm just left with confusion. I don't understand. It's something that really, really gets on my nerves and it's been ruining the game for me overall the first few days. Uh, First few hours, not days, excuse me. No matter what, they need to fix it. It's horrible. I'm hoping, and I can chalk it up to being the first day of release when I recorded this footage and I was playing the most. I really hope it's just the first day. If it's not the first day and this is what the game's gonna be like, it's it's unplay it's it's nearly unplayable. I, I I hate to jump to conclusions like that, but it's it was bad. It doesn't happen every game, but it's a 50-50 toss-up whether whether or not you're gonna get a game where you can't kill people. And when I say can't kill people, I mean I shoot at them and they never die. It is so bizarre. Well, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of post-commentary classic style of video. Most people don't do this much anymore where it's just talking over gameplay with letting your words fly out without much thought and uh, scripting, but I'm giving it a shot. Probably won't do this again for a very long time because I like having my thoughts to be a little more collected. I wrote a lot down like bullet points about what I to discuss and I'm hoping it turns out all right, but we'll see. Expect to see more multiplayer videos if I can get any better gameplay and of course the detection is better. 
Of course, more Warzone because, I mean, I'm having a blast on Warzone. That's not going to change. I'm going to keep doing Warzone. And some zombies because we played zombies last night, got some good footage, and I think we're going to go after the Easter egg and make a video of it. It'll be a good time. Otherwise, hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.